I want to like ditch all of it and then start over. Hello friends, it's Rachel Archelaus here. I don't know about you, but I am finding this call to minimalism really strong this year. I've always kind of leaned in this direction. Um, I've never really been one to hoard, especially because I, I tended to move like every other year. However, this time it's like for real. So I want to hear from you and I want to tell you my story of what I'm feeling this year. So let me know, are you feeling the call toward minimalism? And what does that mean for you? Normally every few months I'll go through my books, I'll sell or donate the ones that no longer suit me. I'll do the same with my clothes. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty pared down. But at the moment, I'm really feeling like I don't want any physical books. I don't want any of the clothes that I have really, maybe except for a couple pieces. And I really just want to ditch nearly everything and not not feel like I have too many possessions. A large part of it is that some of the stuff I have, I just have because I don't want to throw it out. A lot of my clothes are really old. Some of them have holes in them. I mean, we're talking five, five-year-old shirts and sweaters and stuff. I don't really like to shop so I don't go out much. Um, and I think what I'm gonna do is just get rid of like all of it. I'm not gonna shop first. I'm not gonna replace stuff first. I want to like ditch all of it and then start over. And that's such a cool feeling. Like how often do we have no clothes? I don't think I've ever done that. You know, I normally will just recycle through things, but what if I just went down to like six things? That's so cool to me. And of course I'm not counting socks and underwear. I don't need to get rid of all that stuff. But I love this idea of freedom from things, of seeing how it feels to have less things. It's just really exciting to me right now. And that's always a good sign. So um, I have this challenge that I want to introduce to you that I heard about through um, a YouTube channel called Sugar Mama TV. Very good about financial advice. She also practices minimalism. And she did this thing called the 30 Day Minimalism Challenge, where every single day you get rid of the number of things marked by the day. So on day one, you get rid of one thing. On day two, you get rid of two things, and so on. And so you keep going. On day 17, you get rid of 17 things. And it was so fascinating to see, like, wow, we could get rid of that much stuff. And, you know, if you think about it, you can go through your junk drawer, you can go through your old Tupperware, you can go through your linen closet with stuff that's too old or beat up. You can really go to town, clean up your space, get current with yourself, release that old baggage and is you're gonna feel so good I can already feel it. I'm gonna feel scrubbed out so I'm gonna start this I'm gonna do it I will keep you updated and I want you to do it too if that excites you if you're feeling sluggish if you're feeling uninspired if you're feeling held down if you're feeling blah do this with me because it's really gonna help Whenever we change our physical environment, we do change the inside, or at least we allow for that change to happen, right? Because inner and outer are connected. So get rid of those things. Of course, reuse, recycle what you can, compost what you can. And we're gonna keep this discussion on minimalism going, but do let me know how you feel about this. I want this to be a cool discussion. And, um, Keep me informed and I will keep you informed and I will show you my closet too. So you'll see the before and after. I'll show you my books as well. <laughs> All right guys, happy getting rid of stuff, okay? Bye.